Welcome everyone to this edition of the Yoga Amazing Video Podcast. I am Chaz, I am your, your host, and welcome back. Now this episode is brought to us by Audible.com. They are the leading internet provider for downloadable books out there on the web. So whether you have an iPhone, an iPad, an iPod Touch, a Android, whatever you got, a lot, they, they, they enable you to download many Audible books of your choice to whatever device that you have. So whether it's fiction, science fiction, health and fitness, cooking, autobiographies, whatever, please check this out. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash yogamazing and you can get a book for yourself as well. So remember to do that after class, as I always say, because people always ask me, how can I help the podcast, Chaz? Well, by them sponsoring this podcast, it's enabling me to bring you this workout today. So please check it out, audiblepodcast.com slash yogamazing. Now let's get right into this week's tweet actually came in from my Yoga Amazing Twitter account. And this one comes in from Pamela and she says, at Yoga Amazing, which is me, uh, spring is here. Is it time for a new cleansing yoga class? Hmm. Well, it is here in North America. I know in different parts of the world it starts going into different things. But here in North America, it is spring. And you know, the great thing about a cleanse uh, with yoga, you know, we, we can do it any time of the year, so it doesn't matter. But here in the United States, yes, it is spring, so it has sprung wide open to do a class, like how I pulled all that together. Uh, and it's, it's gonna be a really uh, a nice little class. It's, you know, and when you do a lot of cleansing, a lot of movements, there's gonna be a lot of twisting, and we're gonna do a breathing exercise, and it's, uh, it's gonna be a good class to clean us up so that we're detoxed and we're healthier and happier individuals. So, just like Pamela here, if you have an idea, send me an email, chaz at Of course, you can always find me on Twitter, and in Facebook. And also please go check out YouTube as well because I got a lot of videos in there and I'm growing that on it. So please tell all your friends to go to YouTube and hit the subscribe button so that you can get the videos there as well. And remember to please go to the Yoga Amazing Archive. A lot of people are asking me, where are all the videos? They're in the archive and you can buy the past episodes for just a mere $3.99. And it also helps me to continue doing this for you. So, and remember as we go through today's class to breathe, relax, and have fun in this cleansing edition of the Yoga Amazing video podcast. Okay, the first thing I want to uh, do today is a cleansing breath. So we're just going to sit down here and we're going to become you know, focused in the moment. So just sit crisscrossed, as I say to kids, crisscross applesauce, just get comfortable. And from here, I just want you to take a few moments. Typically, uh, we go to down dog uh, to start the class off or to child's pose. Today, a little bit different since this is a cleansing um, we're just going to get right into it. But, for, but I want us to focus on first, though, is our breathing. So take your hands on your knees, palms up. And I just want you to close your eyes. But I don't want you to slouch and around. I want you to close your eyes and become very aware. So draw the shoulder blades down the back, sitting up nice and straight, straight, working on our posture, deep in the breath. And just focus on your breathing. Big inhales, big exhales. Just becoming focused in the present moment. Remember, as we go through the class, we do what's called Ujjayi breathing. That's big inhales, big exhales through the nose. And then whether the poses are simple or hard, the breath is consistent, never changing. Stay here for a few moments. Open up your eyes and we're going to start off with another breathing exercise as well. So what we're going to do, it's called the cleansing breath. So we're going to inhale through the nose, big inhale and then let it out through the mouth. Okay, we're going to do this several times. And remember, as we go through some of these asanas, some of these things you may be able to do um, at your house work or whatever so this is something you can do while driving in the car because it doesn't take uh, any movement as far as doing a typical yoga move but it's just breathing so it's a cleansing breath so again sit up nice and straight once you take a great big inhale palms up through, breathe through the nose and then exhale through the mouth
squeezing into the core. Big inhale through the nose. And let it out. squeezing into the core as you release. Inhaling. And exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Here, we're going to get right into some of the twisting poses. So, uh, some twisting poses and some, some uh, good stretches all within this position. That's the cool thing about where we are right now with this. So, the first thing I want you to do, I'm going to angle myself a little bit so you can see. So, I want you to bring your arms up. Let me shift this way, straight at you. Bring the arms up. And then exhale the arms down, hands to the chest. Arms up, inhale. And exhale down. Now this time we're going to inhale, bring the arms up, get the length. And then as you exhale, I just want you to drape it over to your side like this. Breathe. Bringing it up, arms up. Exhale to the other side. Bring it up. And again, exhale, taking it to the other side. Twisting and getting a nice gentle twist, pushing into the core of the body so that you can get some detox going on here. Releasing, bringing it up. Good. Arms up. Hands to the chest. Now, on the next one, I am going to turn sideways so you can see me a little bit better. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm taking my for me this is my left leg so you may be a little bit off you're opposite of me so but all that you want to do is get to the position wherever you can if you notice i'm taking the left leg back taking my heel back and then i'm taking my right leg over the left okay and then i'm just going to pull that leg in with my arm like this twist a twist you know you've done these before so i i trust your judgment that you, you you can get into this and then you're just going to put the hand back squeezing and holding with the other and then twisting looking over the shoulder breathing deeply remember with each inhale and exhale you just twist deeper you don't just sit there you twist little bit by little bit and then you're going to release you're going to come forward into Gomukhasana, face of account. Because what I'm trying to do here with the, the series is not only to get you to twist, to get the detox, like wringing out a, a towel, okay? But we're also going to be using compression into the organ area to cleanse. And this is a good way to do it. So from here, we're gonna bring the arms up. We're gonna cross the right over the left, lift, then pull down. Great pose here to do, good for the shoulder blades. A little bit of shoulder work on this one. 
just for a brief moment, just to get us into the pose so we can drape forward over the legs. And then we're gonna release the arms up. And then this is where we get the detox. We're just gonna lay it out and hang here. Then you're gonna bring it up, take the top leg over, and as I call this, the mermaid pose. And then we're gonna twist looking over the shoulder. Again, another twisting pose. So sit, sitting up nice and straight, don't leaning back, keep your spine nice and straight, twist looking over the shoulder, deep in the breath. then releasing, coming back to the center, and we're gonna rotate it now to the other side. So, taking the leg under, taking the leg over so we can get into the twist, and I'm gonna wrap my arm around, squeezing that in to the organs so I can get a nice squeeze so that blood flow moves so I can get that twist and so I can get that cleansing, and then I'm inhaling and exhaling, looking over the shoulder. Release, knees forward, going into Gomukhasana. And then remember, take a left over right, lift, then pull down just for a few breaths here. Get a little bit of shoulder work in. And releasing the arms up, big inhale. And taking the arms out, stretching it out. Get that detox by getting that compression with the legs going into the core where the organs are and just laying it out here. Slowly bringing it up. Crossing it up, let's go with the mermaid pose. We're gonna twist looking over the shoulder. Remember, we're not leaning back. We're keeping the spine nice and vertical. Inhaling and exhaling, twist looking over the shoulder, deep in the breath. And release. Bring it back to the center and just hands up, palms up, hands facing up. Close your eyes here, just take a few deep breaths before you move on. Good. Now from here, I'm gonna show you a couple other moves and then we're gonna rest. This is a very simple class. It's no, it's very uh, low, low key, not a lot of stress. Uh, so that's a good thing about this. Now, we're gonna be doing um, seated forward fold and you can use pillows if you want. Like, you know, I'm coming into this, like I always say, I'm not um, um, warmed up. My body's not warmed up. And for me to go right down in this would probably be a huge mistake because I probably over, you know, overstretch myself and injure myself. So that's why, you know, it's, I always say, you know, it's not about um, the yoga gymnastics and you see all these people, just, just enjoy the process, you know? Just, when I do my personal practice, I warm up my body. And then when it gets warmer, I go deeper in the poses. But stuff like this where it's just, you know, it's a healing class, you know? That's what it's about. So it's, it's not about, you know, how crazy you do your yoga, it's about, you know, doing it properly and with awareness. So that's all you gotta think about. So from here, uh, grab the pillow. And like I said, this you can also do this as a standing forward fold. You know, that's the one where I always say back up against the, I'll do it real quick, you can just back up against the wall and do something like this. 
Okay, you don't have to get up, but this, that's, that's an easy pose to do as well. Just a standing forward fold, hanging here with your bottom backed into the wall. Okay, so you can always do that one, but um, the reason I'm doing this one is because we're, this whole class is going to be in this position, you know, on the floor. But I want to show you that in case so, uh, you, you want to do that, that way you can get a nice little cleanse out of it. And we got a couple little squatted twists coming up as well, but for now we got this one. So from here, we're going to take a great big inhale, take the arms up, grab the pillows if you got them. And then I just want you to hang and drape it forward. Like for me, my, I like I always say, I have, I have very tight hamstrings. So I'm just going to relax here. If you want, stack another pillow here and, and just grab onto your feet, pull your feet back. So you get that stretch. But you're also getting, right here, you're getting that compression. You're getting that cleanse into the system. Good, then release. Take the pillow, move it out of the way. And remember, a lot of these positions I'm showing you, that once you get the concept of what I'm doing, you can hold these poses for as long or as little as you want. You can do certain poses that you want to do longer. It's up to you. You know, I give you these options, you know, just, just because it's a 20, 25 minute class, some days it's even shorter, it could be 15. Just do what you, you can do and, uh, you know, just do one, hold it for 15 minutes. Do what works for you. Now from here, we're going to go into a squat pose. So for some people, this would be kind of hard, but remember as we get into a squat, just make sure your eyes, my, my, my bad joke of the day is just remember when you finish your class, make sure you tell everybody that you know that you did squat today. Maybe they didn't do squat, but you did. <laughs> I know I can hear the groans everywhere on that one. So <clears throat> from here, <clears throat> get in your squat position, stick your bottom way back, open up your feet, and then you're going to take it down. Okay. Work on getting your feet forward. And if you're on your tiptoes, that's okay too. Now what we're gonna add to this, because you're really into a deep squat, you're getting your legs into the core. We're gonna get a nice little twisting pose in here as well, which is kind of cool. So get your balance first. I'll give you a couple of breaths, get set. Okay, you ready? There. Now I'm gonna take that one hand to the middle and I'm gonna take one hand up and I'm gonna push this arm into this leg and just get this deep twist. release it get yourself adjusted and you can feel that in your core you can feel that twist and bring up the other side inhaling and exhaling and twisting pushing this arm into this leg and even sitting deeper into this release now going a little bit further we're coming up out of the squat and we're coming into like a chair pose this is about as high as we're going to come up to a standing position. So we're going to bring it to here. Squeeze. Remember, you're sitting, you're standing. Reach. Then twist. Then push the arm and the leg and get that twist as you look up. Release back to the center. And rotate to the other side. Fingertips touching. Fingertips up, looking up, keeping the breath. Release, bring it back to here, squatting deep. And releasing, very good. Good. Come down into child's pose, stretch it out. From here, let's bring it to laying on our stomach for a cobra. And this one we're going to be doing a full version. Lots of times we'll just do the one where we're, where we're utilizing the lower back. Now today what I want you to do is to really focus because typically when, when we do this, I would say, okay, lift with your lower back. In fact, we're going to do both versions. Let's do that. We're going to do the standard version where we lift with the, use lower back to lift us. And then we're going to do a full version where we're going to use our hands. So chin to the floor, inhale. And as you exhale, lift with your lower back, elbows in, neck neutral with the spine, deep in the breath.
and release down. Inhale, and as you exhale, now in this version, lift with the arms and root. And then release it down. One more, we're gonna do the, the um, bow pose. Again, putting pressure into that uh, core area to cleanse. So bend your knees, grab your feet, inhale. And as you exhale, kick your legs back, bring it up. Now we're gonna rock and roll like a rocking horse so we can get everything moving in there so we can cleanse it out, clean it out. And release, child's pose. Stretch it out. And bring it up, lay on your back, do a little twist here, and we'll rest. So from here, squeeze your legs in, and then take your arms to a T, and legs to the right, look to the left. And roll the left, look to the right. Back to the center, big hug, squeeze it in. And stretch it out on the floor for Shavasana, the resting pose. Arms to your side, palms up. And just take these next few minutes and just relax and surrender. And just allow yourself these next few minutes for the body-mind connection to be made. And just let the body heal. Let your body open up to the possibilities of change that you give to, to your practice today. Take the peace and the strength and share it. Namaste.